Hey, Mike Pilcher coming to you. Just uh, got a training here I wanted to do. This is WordPress. So uh, basically, here's where we're at. We've been we've been to our Blogger Builder. We've been inside the GVO back office. We've got our Blogger Builder set up. Now we're going to go in and we're going to make our our website look uh, you know maybe look similar to what I've got right here. This is uh, this is one of my Blogger Builder sites right here. Now you know I'm not expecting nobody to make it look like mine. But if you want to, uh, I'm just showing you, you can do the same header here. There's other headers you can do. I mean, there, there's so many headers in here that you can do. The background right here, there's so many different backgrounds. I like this one. Uh, it's just my, my personal taste. So uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to log into this site. And I'm going to show you how to log in. Because when you first start your site, once you've installed WordPress onto your, onto your domain name, you went and purchased the domain name. You went to uh, your Blogger Builder. You've installed WordPress on that domain. And now we're going to go to our admin panel. So basically, we're going to go to a login panel of our domain name. So what we want to do, because it's not going to look like this. It's just going to be a bare bones website when you get first started. And you've got to go in and personalize it. You basically have to give it instructions. You have to tell it what to do. So you've got to personalize it. Uh, to fit your need, whatever business you may have. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to go up here to the address bar and right after your domain name. So my my domain name is unlimitedpaychecks.com. Now, if you want to go back to this site and visit it so you can get some ideas and use it kind of as a reference. Now, don't copy off of it word for word. Uh, for one, Google will, will really knock your ratings way down and it, it'll never rank good because you're copying off somebody else. But for two, it's just not ethical. So don't don't copy word for word. But do use my stuff to uh, to help you. It's kind of a guide. It's just a simple guide to help you. You know, I've got unlimitedpaychecks.com that we're on right now. There's mikepilcher.com, mikepilcher.net. Uh, there's uh, mikepilcher.info, which is my training site. There's freelistbuildingtools.net. It's a great website. It's got a lot of uh, self-help videos on it that will walk you through the Blogger Builder to get to this point we're at right now. So, uh, you know, my training site, MikePilcher.info. That site, if you go to the Fast Start page, there's going to be self-help videos, not only how to advertise and how to do it step by step, but also there's Blogger Builder, how to get to the point we're at right now, how to get your domain, how to take that domain name, change the name servers, and then how to go and install WordPress onto that domain name using the Blogger Builder, okay? So here we are at the address bar. We're going to put a forward slash after our domain name. So forward slash WP dash log in dot PHP. I'm just going to sit here a minute make sure you got that uh, wrote down. Now remember, I'm going to buzz through this pretty quick. I can't, I can't just sit here and take a lot of time doing this. I'm going to go through it pretty quick, but always remember, you can take this video and you can rewind it, you can pause it, you can do it as much as you want to. What I recommend is do what I did once we get on inside. Pause the video. You know, watch, watch what I'm doing. Pause the video. Go do what I just did. Go restart the video. Go to the next step. Watch some. Then go do what I did. That's the beautiful thing of having a video rather than the, like maybe have me on the phone because you'll get more out of the video. Okay. Okay. Now we're in the address bar again. We've got all this typed in. Now we're going to hit enter. And what this is going to do is going to come up a login page and it's going to allow you to log in to your own website. So I've got my username that I chose, my admin name is what it's going to be called in your back office of GVO, password I chose, and I want to show you how to put this box right here, which is called a CAPTCHA code. I like this because it really helps prevent hackers, uh, the, bad, the bad people, as my, grand, my granddaughters call them, because people that you don't want trying to get into your websites, into your business, they're bad people. You don't, you don't want them. So... We put these on there. It stops all that garbage. So uh, you just type in your CAPTCHA code. And like I said, I'll help you uh, through this video. I'm going to show you exactly the plugins to use. I'm going to show you exactly everything to use step by step. So hang with me here. We're going to get right on through this.
All right, so here we are in our back office. We are logged in to what we call the admin panel. This is the back office of your own personal website address, okay? So when you first log in, hear me out. Look right up here where my mouse is at. When you first log in, if you see something up here that says updates available, don't go any farther until you hit updates. And in the next page, right over in this area, you'll see it says update automatically. Always do that. Because what WordPress does is they keep updates available there again to help keep the hackers away and, and keep you uh, protected. Okay, so always look. When you first log in, this is your dashboard. This is the first panel you're going to see. If you see something right here that says updates available, click it. And then the next page, it'll come right over in this area, right over here. It'll say update automatically. Click that and you're done. Okay, now look over here. You see those updates right there? Before we go any farther, we're going to click that tab and we're going to go in and we're going to see what there is that needs updated. You've got to pay attention to this. This is your business. You've got to treat it like a business and it'll pay you like a business. Okay, so you've got to really protect your, your business. So here's the updates. So what we're going to do is we're going to click select all and that just selected all these and we're going to hit update plugins. A few seconds and it's going to be done. It's real, real simple. Okay, it's going to uh, finish here in just a second, and we're going to move right on through this. Okay, it's, it's done. Now, you see it still says updates. So basically, at this point, you either need to hit refresh or just uh, hit the tab again, and it'll go away. So let's just hit refresh, hit resend, and it'll refresh it, and it'll be gone. Because we just updated you don't have to go back and do it again. That's where a lot of people get hung up. They say, well, I updated it. It still shows it. It needs it. No, it don't. It, it's, it did it. You just need to refresh it. Okay? And sometimes this will uh, this will pop up where it says error. A lot of times what you can do is just go right back, hit updates again, and it, it, it cancels out because you've already updated and cancels it out. So we're good to go. Okay, see, here we are. We're all fresh, and we are ready to go. So... When you first come in, you do those things there. Now, to get your site set up, you want to go to your profile. And what you're going to do is you're just going to have to scroll down this page and kind of hover your mouse over these tabs, and you'll have little side menus that will pop up. And what you're looking for, like under Users, is going to, you're going to come over the sidebar, hit Your Profile. See, this is some of the first stuff you've got to do. Just, just follow this stuff step by step. It's real simple. Just get it done and then move on. So when you first come in here, <clears throat> excuse me, your, your username is going to stay the same. You can't change that. It's right there. It's, it's just the way it is. But what you want to do is you want to come in here. So your first name, whatever it is right here, change that to your first name. Okay, now your last name. Okay, here's a key component right here. The nickname says required. So whatever you got your nickname right here, this right here, whatever your nickname is right here, uh, make sure you, you tag that as you would want it to come up in the search engine. So always pretend like you're somebody else. And, and, and then let's just think, if we was trying to uh, go to Google and we wanted to type in something, let's say we're building a home business, or maybe we're wanting more money, what would we type into Google to find that. Well, having said that, I chose unlimited paychecks because people are looking for a way to create unlimited paychecks, an online payroll. So I put unlimited paychecks dash online payroll. Once I type that in there, then you come here and you hit the drop down menu. It will automatically pop in there. You click that and then it populates that field. So we click that and there it is. All right, so you can put your name there. Let's say you're doing a personal site like my MikePilcher.com. Well, I chose right there for that nickname, I chose Mike Pilcher. Right here, I hit it, the drop down menu, it automatically had it in there. I clicked it and put it there. Now, what that does is that, put tag, that puts tags in your website and it really helps get your site optimized. It helps get it ranked up in the search engines. Okay, so just remember that. Next, put your email. 
what email that you have that you would want somebody to email you if they needed something or, or maybe wanted to join your opportunity or had a question. That's the email you'd want to put there. Your website, whatever you want to put there, it, it don't matter. Whatever sites you're using. This is just another one of my sites, gvosecrets.com. That's just another one of my sites that I put there. A great converting site. That's why I've got it there. Okay, then you come on down and then you're going to hit update profile. Now, we've got to install a plugin that's going to make this pop up right here and we'll have to come back to that. Okay, so very, very important part of your site right here. It's not going to be here until we install this plugin. But WordPress SEO, it lets you come in here and it, you personalize this, you personalize this, you put keywords in here, and that is what's going to really help your site. So you click Update Profile. Okay, so we're done there. Now we're going to have to come back because we're going to have to go put some plugins in. So let's go, uh, let's go to Plugins. And let's go over here to the side menu where it says Installed Plugins. Now here's what I want you to do. I want you to get, you, get your paper out and your pencil. <clears throat> and here's what I want you to write down. This one right here. Act is met. Write that word down. Okay. Let's move on down here. You're going to write these down. P. Pinger. Write that down right there. Here's the next one you're going to write down. S. I. Captcha Anti Spam. Write that down. Next one. WordPress SEO. Write that down. Okay. YouTube subscribe widget. Write that down. Now remember, I'm going too fast for you. It, it, it's okay. Just relax because if I if I really took my time, this video would be three hours long. So we can't have that. Uh, so you can always go back. Remember, you can always go back. You rewind this video as many times as you want. No biggie. You can you can get on there. You can pause it and you can write all this stuff down. Whatever. So we're going to move on here. Now. When you first come in here, you come to this plugins, you come to installed plugins, these all are not going to be there. That's why I had you write them down. Here's what you're going to do. You can either hit add new right here under plugins, hit add new, or you can hit add new right here. Either way. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to hit add new. It's going to take it just a second. You're going to have a, a search box right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to type in those one by one. So you're going to do one, and then you're going to go do the next one after you get one done. So let's go do this, this one first. So you would do, uh, like, say, here's another one, too. Make sure you put this. Share this. Make sure you put this. So write that down. Share this. So you would type these in there one by one. You type it in, you go right here, you hit search plugins. Okay, it's going to come up, it's going to give you a couple of choices. Here's the one I recommend, this is the one I like the best. Uh, it's, it's just 5.0 right here. I like this one the very best. It's very, very, it converts very good. It's very safe. You've got to be careful with the plugins you use because not all of them are safe. This one is. So hit install now. It'll bring up a window like this. Are you sure you want to install? Yes. Okay. Okay. Next page, it's going to say activate plugin. Yep, you want to do that, so click that. All right, so that plugin is activated. Now all we have to do is we have to go and edit that plugin. So you come down to your list, you find your list here. There it is right there, so we want to click on edit.
Okay. Oops. I done it wrong. Okay, scratch that. We got to go over here to the side. I'm sorry. We got to go over here to the side and we have to find it on the side. So we've got to go over here. We got to find it. You just have to hover your mouse over. Okay, settings. See, it brings up the side menu. Here, share this. We click it from there. This is how we edit it, okay? Because that code you just seen, you don't want to mess with that. Trust me, don't mess with that. Okay, so basically what you can do here, uh, it's going to give you a choice of all these different buttons. You can, you can use your side menu. You can, you can pick whatever you want. I like this one here because they're smaller. They fit on the page better. They're not great big and bulky. Uh, they, don't, they don't overwhelm your page. They look nice and clean. I like my stuff to look nice and clean and neat. Okay, so I would recommend leave it there. You know, button 7-7, seven, seven, I'd, I'd recommend that one right there. Scroll down the page. Uh, if you want, include Facebook, like, and Google plus one, then click the boxes for both of those. I recommend them because we're, we're in a people business. So you got to remember, it's all about relationships, and you want people to know who you are. So if you don't have a Facebook, you better get one. Uh, if you don't have Google... Uh, add Google plus one, you better get it because it's, it's free. It goes along with your Google, your, your Gmail account. So use that stuff. Hit multi-post right here. It should already be clicked, but if it's not, click it. Scroll on down. Just leave all this stuff here alone. Now, if you want to copy this and put it on one of your other sites, you could, but you're going to learn that later. Uh, so just leave it alone. Scroll on down the page. Uh, these should be checked yes and yes. Hit the update button right here. Update, share this option, share options, and then uh, you're done. It's going to automatically install it on your page. That's it. It's installed. So now let's go view it real quick. Now here's how you view your pages. See there it says automatically or options successfully updated. So let's uh, let's move on. Go right here. So whatever you called your website, right here is where it's going to be tagged. So just click that, and you can go visit your site. And we can take a look at it and see what it looks like. I have to shut my video off here. Okay, so let's scroll down the page. Okay, see these buttons right here? There they are. So it's got share, tweet, uh, share, share, like. See that box that just popped up? That's, that's your share stuff. So you could actually type in whoever you wanted this to go to, and it would automatically send that page uh, to that person. It's, 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 it's beautiful. So... Uh, you want to get a lot of traffic, I'm just showing you this simple little stuff to get you a lot of traffic to your site. Now we're going to use the back button. We're going to go back inside and let's, uh, let's get on down through this thing. Okay, so now we've got that done. Now let's, uh, now just remember, I showed you all the things to write down of what to install on your, on your website. So you got them all wrote down. Now go back and just go back to uh, your your plugins right here and see where it says install plugins see you're gonna to have to add those so those ones I gave you wrote down in your paper now you're gonna go back hit add new you're gonna type them in that search box you're gonna hit activate just like we did before and you're gonna do that one by one I'm not gonna walk through all these step by step because if I do this video is gonna be three hours long we can't have that so what you're gonna do is you're just gonna type them in that box and they're going to pop up. You hit search plugins, and then the next page is going to be activate, just like the ones I just did. Remember, you can rewind that video, go back to where where I did that one plugin, and you can do the rest of them the same. They're all the same. Okay, moving on here. All right, we want to go down and we want to make. Uh, well, first of all, really the first thing we want to do is we want to go set up some pages. We want to set up two pages so that we can get our front page more like a landing page 
and really turn this site into a a cash machine, a money maker, and make it look nice. You don't want your sites. You don't want to have to have your people scroll and scroll and scroll because if you start making blog posts and you don't do these things we're getting ready to do right here, you're going to have 50 blog posts over time on your front page and people's going to have to scroll forever to ever get to the bottom of it. I'm just telling you from uh, experience, you're going to lose a lot of people. Guarantee it. So what you're going to do here is you're going to hit add new because remember, you're not going to have all these pages. You're going to hit add new right here. And you're going to come up to a blank page. Okay? You're going to have a blank page. What you're going to do is you're going to type in the word blog. You're going to go over here. You're going to hit publish. And that's it. That's all you're going to do. Pretty simple, right? And I'll show you why we just did that. You're not going to put anything in that box right there. Nothing. Okay, the next page you're going to do. You see, here's your blog page. We just created your blog page right here. You don't want anything on that, and I'll show you why here in a minute. The next page is going to be basically for our front page. So what we want people to see when they first come to our site will be our front page. So what we're going to do is we're going to hit Add New again right up here. Hit Add New. Now this page it's going to go to is going to be a blank page. Now I've already got a page here, so uh, just bear with me here. Yours is going to be blank. But we're gonna we're gonna have to put something on it so that it's not blank because this is gonna be your first page. This is gonna be your front page. So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna click on the visual window here. Your little editor bar right here. When you first start your website, uh, your WordPress website, it's gonna be a single bar. And it's going to look just like this right here. That's what it's going to look like. You want to click this last little button, hover your mouse over it, it says show, hide, kitchen sink. Click that. And it's going to make that editor bar a two-line editor bar. Now, this is going to be our front page. So what do you want your front page to say? This is what you're, you're going to want to title. Don't, don't title it what I just put. This is mine, okay? Uh, you might want to call it home business or, or, or uh, you know, whatever. You just got to be creative. Don't, don't just copy off of me. I'm just giving you ideas. So you're going to set up this page. Now you're going to have to put stuff on this page. So now you're going to come down here in this box right here, and you're going to put stuff on this page. Uh, I've got a video right here. I've got an opt-in form, but what I've done is I've just put some content. Now remember, go to this site, check it out, you can get ideas of what I've done, okay? So once, you, once you've got your content on there, what you want on your front page of your website, then you're going to go over here, and you're going to hit Update. So right there, hit Update. Now remember, this is key, so hear me out. I gave you a little instruction list there to write down. One of them was WordPress SEO. So it's going to come up, and when it gives you choices of WordPress SEO, it's going to look like this. It's going to say WordPress SEO by Yoast. That's the one you want. Because I forgot to mention it a while ago. When you type in WordPress SEO, it's going to give you many options. Put, get, choose the one that says this right here. SEO, WordPress SEO by Yoast. You'll hit it. You'll activate it. And that's going to be your plugin. So... Every time you make a post on your website, here's what's going to happen. You're going to have this category right here below your post. It's going, to, it's going to have all this stuff here. Now, once this is all set up, this will automatically populate all these fields. But look here at the bottom. Keywords. So right here is all your keywords that you can put in that might fit your niche, your business. 
And I'm telling you, keywords, keywords is what people type into Google to find something. If they're typing in your name to find out if you're a real person or not, which they will do, uh, then they're going to type that into Google. If they're typing in GVO, uh, they're going to type into Google. You want that as a keyword right here. If they're typing in home business, you better have that in here. So you got to think in the terms of other people the way they think, and you're going to want those keywords in there. Okay? Hit update. Wait on it. When you hit update on this, it's going to take it a little bit. Just sit there and be patient. Don't be in such a hurry. Once you hit update, wait on it because this page is going to flash. Basically, it's going to go away just for a brief second. It's going to come right back. That means it updated. So what happens if you update it and then you go over here and start clicking on crap, guess what's going to happen? It may not save everything you just did and you could have just wasted your time and lost it. So just be patient, okay? Remember, hit update, then sit there patiently, watch this page, you'll see it go away and it'll come right back. That means it's done, it's saved, now you can move on. That's a, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, a huge lesson I had to learn the hard way. So, uh, I've already gave you a warning. If you do it, not my fault. Okay, general. We go to settings. We go to general. That's where you want to change. If you want to change the title of your site, you can do it right there. General. That's the title of your site. Okay, go down here to permalinks. Remember, settings, side menu, go right down here to permalinks. Click that. Now mine's not quite as fast. You may be wondering why this is kind of slow. It's because I'm doing this screen share video. So when I'm using this software to do this video like I'm doing right now, it really, really slows things down. So that's why mine may not appear as fast. Okay, here's what you do on permalink settings. You click this second box, day and name. Click that. Come down here, hit save changes. Okay. That's all you're going to do there. And you're done. Next thing, after you've done that, go over here to, remember you're under your settings, come right down here to reading. Click on reading. All right. Now listen up. This first box is going to be marked on yours. You want to click this second box. It's going to open these two up right here. Here's the secret to these websites and making them look clean and nice and having a separate page marked blog. Remember a while ago we marked that page blog and we just put the title in then hit update. We didn't put anything in the editor box. Here's why. Okay, you select static page. You come right here and you hit, you pick that other page that we created. Remember we created two pages. We created our front page. Mine was unlimited page X. You title yours something else. Um, so I'm going to click that. That puts my first page. That's the page that's going to pop up when people type in my address up here. So when they go the and type in or click my website and it says unlimitedpagex.com, that's the page that's going to pop up. That's our front page. Okay, post page. That's where we hit the drop down menu. We select blog. Okay. Right here, this box is going to be marked 10. You put three. I recommend three. See, here's the thing. If you get 10 posts on one page, you scroll and you scroll and you scroll and you scroll. People get tired. They're not going to do that. They're, uh, it makes your site look crappy because it's 20 miles long. Don't do that. Just put three there. Leave, leave these others alone. All these others are going to look the same. Just change that one. Come down here, hit Save Changes, and you're done. Okay? All right. Come down here. Now, remember, after you've installed these all these plugins, that's the first thing you should have done. If you haven't done it, get all of them installed. And then, once you've installed that WordPress SEO, the one that says Buy Yoast, then you're going to have a tab right down here that says SEO. So I've hovered my mouse over it. Look at what it's doing. It's giving me all these options. Here's what I want to do. I want to click Titles. 
See, I'm going to I'm going to do this for you because what this is going to do is going to save you so much time and work because it's going to it's going to populate all these fields for you if you do this right. If you follow this video and do this site right, this is going to be a piece of cake for you. Okay? So uh, hold on just a second. I need to shut my door here. Hold on. Okay, sorry about that. All right, here, here we go. Um, we've on this page here that's got titles. There's going to be nothing in these fields. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to fill out these three fields like I am right here. So look at them. Okay, now I'm going to show you where to get these. Let's scroll in. Okay, right here. So title, what you're going to do is you're just going to copy this right here. So copy that, right click, copy, and you're going to go right up here, and you're going to drop that in right there. Then you're going to put a dash. You're going to put a space, dash, space. Now you're going to come right back down here, and you're going to find that one that says site name. Which is right here. You're going to copy. Remember, you got to copy those percentage marks too. Don't leave nothing out. Copy. Go back up here. Put it right after, just like mine. It should look just like this right here. Okay, your next box. We're going to go down and we're going to get this here. Okay, right here. Remember, get the percentage marks. Right click, copy. Go back up here. Drop it in that second box, right there. Okay, and in the last box, meta keywords. Go down here. And it's going to be right here. Right click, copy, and drop it in this last box, right there. Okay? Then you scroll down to the bottom of the page, hit Save Settings, and you're done. That's all you're going to do there. Now you've basically got your site set up. Uh, so all you really need to do now is if you want to go make a post, because you've got you've got you've already got content on your front page. So when you want to make a post, here's what you're going to do. When you log in your site to make a blog post, remember that blog page we left empty. We put blog for a title. We left the box empty. Here's why. Because once you add pages, if you want to go in and add other pages like about you or about another business, you just go to pages, add a page, and it automatically puts the tabs at the top of the page for that page. You title it. Um, you know, about me, or if it's uh, a privacy policy or whatever, you, you just go in there and put the content on, name the page, and that page will automatically put a top uh, a tag up there at the top for a menu bar. But if you're going to go in and make a blog post, all you're going to do is go to post. You're not going to go to pages. You're going to go to post. And what you're going to do is you're going to, when this page pops up, every time you make a new post, let's say we're going to make a post about... Uh, your vitamins or something. So, or maybe your maybe it's your GVO and your hosting. You hit Add New, right there. You can also hit it over on the side. And what you would do is you title it right here. Let's just say we're doing it about best hosting. Best hosting company. Boy, this thing's really slow. Remember I told you why it's slow. 
because of the software I'm using. It really slows it down. Okay, so you put the title, then you're going to come out here and you're going to put content. So whatever you're talking about. So the best hosting company, you would just go into a description. Um, you know, talk about the best hosting company or, or what to look for. Really, you'd want to give a description. What would you look for if you're looking for the best hosting company? Uh, give some give some things what to look for and put that there and then you, you go to the bottom of the page and uh, you can put your keywords right here all these other fields are going to be populated because remember those auto tags we set up come over here add some categories hit add new category see these categories I've got in here these categories I've got in here, I put them in right here. Add new category, a box will pop up right here, and you just type in whatever the category is that you want to appear. So like right here, let's put best hosting company. And hit add new. And it automatically puts it up in here and puts a check mark in it. So that's one of the things when you're making a post, you really want it to get it to really rank good in the search engines. You got to have the keywords at the bottom of the page. Put some categories right here. And then if you've already got your categories in, then when you come down through here, you can just start checking them. So you just start checking the ones that, uh, and always check your name. You want your, your name as a keyword. But you would check stuff that would... Um, fall into the place of, of the category you're posting about. So, you know, check your categories. And remember, somebody's going to go and search something, put it here. If you think they might search something looking for something, put it there. Go right up here. Hit Publish. Remember what I said? Once you hit that, you got to wait on the page. It'll kind of go away. It'll come right back. Once it does that, you're done. Okay. Now, let's go to widgets. I'm going to show you. Let's go to my, my site real quick. Let's take a peek at it. Let's go view it. Okay, now, there's the site. Okay, you see over here where I've got this stuff on the side. This is where you do your widgets. It's called widgets. We'll go do that here in just a second. Let me see if I can refresh this page here a little bit. It's really slow. There's my wife. The last trip we went on the ocean. She's out in the ocean there playing around. Okay, these are widgets. So, that's where I put my picture, our picture. And then underneath, I put an opt-in box. You know, the money's in the list, folks. So if you don't have an opt-in box on your page, you're missing the boat. you got to have a place. It's a newsletter. It's a place for people to opt in and get more information. That's where your autoresponder takes over. Here's the thing. Would you rather keep calling people all the time or keep looking for leads? Or would you rather have people come into your site, a place they can opt in, then your autoresponder starts automatically sending messages to them on your behalf? So you went in and you sent your autoresponder up once. You never have to do it again. They opt in. Autoresponder takes over. They start getting messages on your behalf. People start joining you. They're following you first. They, go, they want to see who you are. They want to see if you're going to stick with it or not, or if you're going to quit. The next thing they do, they want to see who you are. you got to build that, that rapport. you got to build that know, like, and trust. So I'm going to show you how to put these things on the side of your site over here so they pop in like mine. Because if you don't have that, uh, you're kind of wasting your time. You're really not going to get far because if people go to your site, they don't have a place to opt in and, and get more information about your opportunity and you, then you're probably not going to have much luck uh, with things. So let's go over here to the site. So appearance. And this is really 
slowing down. It's this software that's running, and it just uh, it really bogs down the computer. You should have a side menu pop up. There it is. Okay, you, you hover over appearance. Your side menu will pop up. You're going to hit widgets. Remember, you can always go back, replay this video. You're probably having things fly over your head right now, and you're thinking, I can't remember all this. You can remember it if you say you can. If you say you can't, you can't. So you got to reprogram your mind. you got to reprogram your words. So quit saying you can't and start saying you can't. You can always stop the video. You can always replay it. You can do that as many times as you want, over and over and over. You can do this. Okay, here's your side. Now, remember, left sidebar, we don't, I don't like the left sidebar. If you want to pick a left sidebar, that's fine. That's up to you. I'm showing you how to do what I do. That's the right sidebar. So here it is. You hit the drop down menu right there. So these fields right here are going to be empty because, remember, you're setting your side up. Now, what you do to get these in here, now watch this. I opened that sidebar. Okay, so I've got open spots. Now watch this. You see this little text box? You hover your mouse over it. See those four stars? Left click on top of that text box. Hold down on it, and you're going to drag that thing right over here. See how I'm dragging it over here? See how it gives you a little box? Once you get it over, it gives you a little box. And you drop that thing right in that little box. Let go of your left, your left click once you get it there. It opens up. There it is. Now you just title it whatever. Um, newsletter. Whatever. Okay, then you go to your autoresponder. We'll do that in another video. We're going to have to cut this one off. It's getting too long. Uh, you go to your autoresponder. You go to the campaign, whether you call it GVO or whatever you called it, you go to that campaign and you hit forms in, in your autoresponder. Go to the campaign that you want this opt-in box for. Hit forms. Then under forms, hit HTML. You'll have a box pop up. Copy all that HTML code and you're going to come right here in this box, and you're going to paste it into this box. You're going to drop it right in there. You're going to hit save right here. And it's, excuse me, it's going to save it. Now you've got it all right there. Now you've got an opt-in box on the side of your page. If you ever want to take one, take one of these boxes out, do the same thing. Hold your mouse over it, left click, drag it out, and drag it down here, this second section down here and drop it in here. Just drop it in there. Okay? That's how you put your widgets on there. That's how we put our picture in there. We use that, that little text box right there, dropped it right over there on that side, and then went in there and added whatever inside that box we wanted to add. So that's how you do that. If you want to have a a log in and a log out button on the right side of your page. See this meta? You would take that, hover your mouse over it, drag it right over to here, and it'll put a a opt in, opt out button on that left or on that right side of your page. If you want to have links like website, other websites for people to go to on the right side of your page, take links right here, drag that over here, drop it in there. And then, once you're done there, all you've got to do is uh, go over here to links, click on links, now you're going to have a whole bunch of links in here. Uh, it's a bunch of stuff that you don't need. I recommend you click on all of them, you go here to to uh, bulk actions, you hit delete, and it deletes every one of those. You don't want all those other links in there. See, I've already cleaned mine out. You're going to have a bunch of them in here when you first get started on, on a website. Any website, when you first start it, it's going to have all those links. You don't want them in there. So you hit all, which is that tab there, hit delete, right there, hit apply, and it deletes all those. Now, if you want to add a new link, 
So here on links, hit add new. You can do that right here. I'm actually going to add one. I'm just going to show you real quick how to do it. Okay. So let's title it My Personal Website. HTTP forward slash forward slash www.myculture.com. Description This is my personal website. Okay, now here's some buttons you've got to pick. Pick blog roll right here. Check that. And then go down here and pick blank. Here's the thing, folks. You want your stuff to open in a separate window. When you're taking people away from your site for good, you're making a huge mistake. You're kicking your, you're shooting yourself in the foot. So if you're if you're having a backlink or something in your site, we'll cover those later. Uh, a site like I'm doing right here, and they click on it, and you don't have it open in a separate window, it takes them right to that site, but it just took them away from the site they was on. What if they don't remember the site name they was just on? Maybe they don't know how to use their back button. They just got off your site. You may not ever get them back. So have your stuff open in a separate window because that way your other site's still going to be there and they can go right back to it. Okay. Now you hit add link. And that's going to be, uh, you'll see the page go away here and come right back. And we're done. There you go. See, that's saved. Now let's go right back in, down here to widgets, and I'm going to show you how to put that on there. Okay, widgets. Okay, we got the link in there. We just did the link. Now watch what we're doing here. I'm going to show you how to put that over on the right side. Because see, that's not on the right side right now on my side. I don't have it on there. But I'm showing you how to do it right now. Okay, right side, right here. Right sidebar. I'm opening the window. I'm hitting the drop down menu. It opens the window. Now I just got to figure where I want to put it. Where do I want to put that in there? I'm just trying to, I'm just thinking here. Uh, I believe, I believe I'll put it right in between these two here. So here's links, which is your blog roll, blog roll. Hover your mouse over it. See the four four cornered star? Now left click, hold down on the left click, hold down, drag it over here, and you just gotta position it. However you want that to fall in there. See this works better when I'm not doing this screen share. Right now with this screen share, it's making it a little tricky. Because it really slows things down. Okay, see it opened up. All right. So all links. Let's click blog roll. That's what we want. Show link image. Show link name. Show link description. We don't want the description. That's too much stuff on our site. We do want them to. We do want the link name. The link image. Okay. Hit save. See the little circle there running? That went away. If you're not sure, just hit save again. See the little circle running? Now it's going to go away here. Just There you go. You're done. That's it. So we close that window there. The little drop down. Just hit it. You can close it. You don't have to. You can close this. It also does. It condenses it. Okay, now let's go view our site. Let's go up here and click on it. Going to go view it. You see what it did? It dropped it right in there. There it is, right there. Let me shut this video off. Okay, see, there's our picture. There's our opt in box, our newsletter box. Blog roll we just put on there. There's my personal site. Now look down in the bottom left corner of your screen right now. It says mypilcher.com. I'm going to click on it. 
Watch what it does. See, it opens in a separate window. That's what you want it to do. Okay, here it is. It's uh, it's loading up. Here's here's my personal website. It's loading up. It's in a separate window. So all they've got to do is go right back over here to this other window, back to where they was. If you don't do that, you're going to lose people. I'm just telling you. So here's my personal site. So that's just another place they can go and visit a site to get more information about me, who I am, because they don't know me. If it's first time visitors, they have no clue who I am. So they're going to come over and wonder who I am. Well, if you're giving them more places to go, like your Facebook or whatever. And by the way, there's another deal. Look in the bottom left corner of the screen right now, facebook.com forward slash Michael Filter. See if they, if they click on our picture, what's it do? It takes them to our Facebook. They can go to my Facebook and see who we are, see who I am. All right. I'm going to close this window out. Okay, so let's hit the back button. Go back inside our back office. That's basically going to be pretty much all we're going to do today. I mean, that's gave you a, a, a good outline of what we're doing here with the WordPress sites and, and how to how to do the different things. Now, you've seen, let's go back over here. Let's look at the site. You see all these sites or all these menu bars at the top of the page. You see all these buttons right here? Okay, you got home. That's our home page. That's our front page. We set that all up. You got about. So about me or about you. Blog, contact me, pay plan. You don't have to have all this stuff. I do. You don't have to have. So... To get those tabs, that's that's pages. So if you want to add more pages about other opportunities or whatever about you or whatever, all you do is you go here to pages. And there's your sidebar. Add new. And you can add new pages. You can add as many as you want. That's where them tabs at the top of your site come from. That's where they're going to come from. That's your menu bar. So when you go in here and, and like say you put about or about me that's where it comes from right there so you can put about me and then you just go right in here and type a description about you you know just give a little bit of a background about you because it makes people feel relaxed and more comfortable if they can go and see who you are so put put a description about me uh you know don't don't go into great detail. Don't go into a big old long story and, and bore people, but just go in there and tell them, you know, who you are, where you grew up, uh, what, maybe why you're doing what you're doing. Don't try to sell them. Just try, try to be their friend and relate to them. And once you put that in there, go over here. Now go down to the bottom of the page, put some keywords in it. So you got your keywords right here. So you can put about me, you can put your name, now, remember, your keywords, let's just do a few. About me, comma, comma after every one. Um, let's put your name. I'm putting mine. You put yours. Um, personal info. You could put um, contact me. You could put self-help, education, find me. Remember, put a comma after everyone. That's just giving you some ideas. Uh, you know, what would people type in? You know, work at home, comma. And then once you get all those in there, go up here, hit publish, and you're done. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to log out, and basically we are done with this video. So I'm going to log out, and then I'll see you on the next video. The next video I'm going to go into basically uh, making posts. I'm going to show you how to make posts. I'm going to show you how to um, really get a post on your page and get the keywords in there and get, because uh, I've already showed you kind of a, a brief overview, but I'm going to really show you how to 
fine tune it so that people can find you in the search engines, some of the do's and some of the don'ts. So uh, stay tuned for more videos. There's going to be more coming. Thanks for hanging out with me and uh, hope this was helpful. Have a great day. God bless you. Bye-bye.